Hey guys, Ryan here again at Purity to Fitness. Same outfit I know, but it's the same day actually. Just another tip for you. All right, so today we're working again on mobility. A lot of times when you squat, or some of you may see this when you squat or notice it, we see a lot of angle of the torso falling forward as we go down, okay? A lot of times, not always, but a lot of times, that's hip flexors, okay? Being tight. The way we can work on this, it's not gonna feel good when you're doing it, but it's gonna be great after you're done, and it's not, again, gonna be a miracle work, there's nothing is. You need to stay on top of this drill if you decide to choose to do so about two to three times a week, okay? Just need a kettlebell, I'm gonna take advantage of the handle. Hip flexors are right where that hip band's basically digging down into that, that crest of your hip. Okay, we're gonna lay down right on top of that, put it right down inside those hip flexors, and we're gonna dig for about two minutes as much stress as you can handle, just digging inside those hip flexors, trying to open those up. Get about two minutes of this again, not gonna feel great. If you're a male, watch out for your goods. Okay, we don't wanna hurt anything, so we wanna make sure though we're working about two minutes each side. The more we do this, the better that squat pattern should become. We're staying nice and upright with our torso and not falling forward in our squats. Again, Ryan here at Period of Fitness, another tip of the week.